Hello everyone. It's Christmas time. We hear a lot about uh, at this time about Jesus being the savior of the world and it's in all of our Christmas carols. Um, we think about silent night. It's uh, uh, one of the verses says silent night, holy night, shepherds quake at the sight, glory stream from heaven afar, heavenly hosts sing hallelujah. Christ our Savior is born. Christ our Savior is born. Or one of my favorites, God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. O oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy, O oh, tidings of comfort and joy. And then joy to the world, the Lord, oh, joy to the world, Joy to the world, joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let men their songs employ. So what does this mean that Jesus is our Savior? We sing about it. <clears throat> we have Christmas cards that say it. We have emojis. We have, you know, uh, Facebook banners, banners that say it. We have uh, signs and all kinds of things that say Jesus is the Savior of the world. But what does that really mean? What does that really mean? <clears throat> you know, we, we can understand what it means when a fireman goes into a burning building and saves the people inside. We understand that the firemen saved the people from being burned to death. Or in the story of It's a Wonderful Life, you know, the movie George Bailey saved his brother Harry from drowning when, when Harry fell through the ice. We understand that George saved Harry from drowning um, we, what we know that, uh, someone saving another person means is that they save them from dying or we sa save them from facing some kind of disaster, um, that that person was facing dying or facing a disaster and someone else intervened and prevented that from happening. <clears throat> so how does that relate to us and to Jesus? Well, every human being that has ever lived on the face of the earth has had a problem with sin. And that sin has separated us and every human being from God. The Bible says that every single human being, every person has sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Now, what does that mean? That means that that sin has separated us from God. Uh, that sin means that we've done things wrong. We've, we've gone against God's laws. And we know that we've sinned. We know that other people have sinned and we're all in the same boat. And that sin problem that we have ha caused a death in that in us. The Bible says that the penalty for our sin is death. And we experience that death in several ways. The first way is that the relationship that we could have with God is cut off. So it is a death of a relationship. All of the benefits and the joys and the pleasures of a relationship with God are gone because of sin. So that's a death. Our spiritual life dies when we sin, we come, become spiritually dead. And we have, because of sin, we have an eternal death sentence. We are doomed to an eternity in hell. But that is not the way that God wanted it uh, to end up. That's not what God wants for us. He saw um, our need and he sent Jesus Christ to rescue us, to save us, to intervene, and uh, to, to take our penalty for us. Jesus took all the scorn he uh, felt all the abandonment. He suffered all of the punishment. And if we choose to accept his help, if we choose to accept his help as our savior, uh, we can be saved. Jesus Christ has saved us from an eternity in hell. And just like, you know, uh, George Bailey's brother, Harry, could have just, you know, refused his help to get out of that frozen pond and just gone under and drowned, you know, we can refuse the help of Jesus Christ and we can refuse to be helped. We can refuse to go to heaven. We can refuse to have a relationship with God or we can 
uh, accept the help that Jesus Christ has provided. So Jesus Christ has made it possible uh, to become alive spiritually, to be born again. He made it possible for our sins to be forgiven. He made it possible for the Holy Spirit to come and to be our comforter, our strengthener, and our helper. He made it possible to, for us to have God as our Heavenly Father and to have our prayers answered. And He can be your Savior. And you wonder, well, how can He be my Savior? I need to be saved. I'm in that position where I'm separated from God. I, you know... I know that I sin. I know that um, I'm on my way to hell. I know that I'm going to suffer the punishment of my sins. How can I be saved? How can Jesus? Christ, how can I take advantage of what Jesus did for me? How can I grab a hold of His hand and have Him uh, pull me out of the state that I'm in? Well, the way that we do that is we just come to a place where we know that we need Him, and come to a place where you're ready to turn your life around and turn your life over to God and turn away from your sin and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and all that he's done for you and ask him to be the Lord of your life. Then the Christmas carols will have a whole new meaning for you. Then you'll understand what it means when you sing, Christ, Jesus Christ is my savior. When you sing, um, joy to the world, the Lord has come, the savior reigns, our Christ the Savior is born. You will, it'll have such a new meaning uh, to you. Remember Christ the Savior was born on Christmas Day? You'll understand that all the things that you've been saved of, and it'll just have a whole new meaning for you this Christmas. So I just encourage you uh, this Christmas to make it a Christmas like no other before. Make it the first Christmas of your new life and have Jesus Christ be your Savior not just the Savior of the world, but your personal Savior. Repent of your sins, turn your life over to Him, and grab on, onto His hand and ask Him to be your personal Lord and Savior. And if you do that, we just ask that you contact us so that we can pray for you, <clears throat> so that we can send you a Bible, so that we can help you in your new life with the Lord. And <clears throat> so you can just send us a Facebook message, you can call us on the phone. You can email us. There's just so many ways that you can get in contact with us, and we would love to help you. God bless you, and have a wonderful Christmas. Bye-bye.